Hey everyone, my name is Mirai and welcome to the ISBoxer 42 video for setting up selective broadcasting. In this video, I'll be showing three different methods for how to broadcast to only a specific set of windows so that others may be excluded. So let's get right into it. The first method is by far the simplest, and if you have a particular character that you would like to be excluded from everything all of the time, then you would simply select the character in the character list of ISBoxer and check the ignore keyboard and mouse broadcast sent to this character box. That's it. Export your settings and you're done. Now the second method requires a bit more work than the first, but is still pretty basic. So first, let's start by creating an action target group, or ATG for short. Then drag and drop all of the characters that you want to broadcast to or from into the ATG. All right, so next, in the ISB42 toggles key map is where you'll find the two activate repeat mapped keys. For this video, I want to work with the current window version of this mapped key since it's easier to modify, but I will address how to modify the all windows version as well. So right click on the mapped key and copy it to the clipboard. Then move into the always on key map, right click on the words mapped keys and paste it in. I'm going to rename mine And because I have OCD, I'm also going to move it up in the list. Then give it a hotkey so that you can use it. After that, in step one, select the repeater target action at the top and assign your newly created ATG to the new repeater target field. If for some reason you aren't seeing your ATG listed here, you may need to click on the asterisk to the right of the field and then select a character set that contains the characters that are in the ATG you just created. In addition, if you would like to repeat only the keyboard or only the mouse, you can adjust the repeater action found below the one we just modified. Now, if you chose to modify the all windows version of this mapped key, then every action will need to be modified. Wherever you find an all with current target assigned, you will want to change that to the all of version of your ATG. And everywhere you find an all without current target assigned, you will want to change that to the others in version of your ATG. Anything labeled as window current or self can be left alone. Finally, I want to let you know that using this method as we've just configured is not going to keep in sync with your main repeater toggle. So you can either fix this, which requires extra work that I'll cover near the end of the video, or you can simply live with it. And that means at times you may need to press the repeater toggle keys twice to bring them back in sync. Also, this method as configured does not tie in with the button overlay that Iceboxer provides. The image and the button will change to properly reflect the state, but clicking on it will not toggle the custom repeater mapped key. However, I also show how to fix this later on in the video. So the third method is somewhat advanced and more or less requires that you're familiar with some other areas of ISBoxer. I'm not going to explain it in detail step by step, but will highlight what I've done as well as provide the profile in the video description so that those interested in it can review my changes as this final demonstration is just meant to show off what you can set up using ISBoxer. So in the corner of each window, I've created a set of custom click bars that allow me to dynamically toggle which windows will receive input. All the buttons are lit up green, so when I toggle the repeater on, all of the windows show a mouse cursor. Now, if I shut one of them off, you'll see that the mouse cursor disappears on that window. If I shut another off, that cursor disappears as well. This of course will persist through toggling repeater off and on, and it will also work from any window. Finally, I can turn them all back on and everything works like the standard repeater. So that's fancy, but how is it all set up? Well, instead of creating a completely separate repeater toggle, I simply assigned the ATG to the main repeater toggle. And I used target group actions to move my characters in and out of the ATG as I so choose. I've got four characters that start off assigned to the ATG and I've got four mapped keys, each with two steps where the first step removes the character from the ATG and the second step brings them back in. All of these mapped keys are then tied to click bar buttons. You can do this with menu buttons as well, but that requires a bit more work, especially if you begin creating animated buttons. In this case, using click bars was easier because I wanted to share the profile without any issues. And again, this profile will be available in the video description below, so check it out if you'd like. 
Well, that's it for the base tutorial, so let's move on to fixing the potential sync issue, as well as learn how to tie the custom repeater toggle to the button overlay. In order to fix the issue of multiple repeater mapped keys falling out of sync with one another, we need to add in some mapped key step actions. So first I'd recommend double checking the virtual mapped keys tab of your character set to see which mapped key the activate repeat active method entry is pointing to. It doesn't matter which one it is, but this is the first mapped key that we're going to be modifying. So with that information, head over to that particular mapped key found in the toggles key map. In step one, add in a mapped key step action found under the key map actions category. First, ensure that the target of this action is assigned to the ATG you're using. You'll see two different versions in the dropdown, all of and others in, and you'll want to use the others in version. After that, Point it at the custom repeater mapped key that we copied and pasted into the always on key map. Then change the step adjustment and set it to step two of that mapped key. Finally, copy this action as is, move over to step two, paste it into the list, and change the step adjustment to step one. Okay, so this keeps the custom repeater in sync with this one, but we still need to do the same on our custom repeater mapped key so that this one stays in sync with that one. Confusing, I know. So head over to the always on key map, open up the first step of the custom repeater mapped key, and go through the same motions. Except this time, you'll be pointing these actions at the repeater mapped key that you just made changes to. And in this case, that's the current window version for me. Okay, so with these changes, each multi-step repeater mapped key is now going to stay in sync with each other. The IS Boxer toggles menu is set up so that it's tied to the main repeater toggle, and any custom repeater toggles you make are not controlled by it, even though the icon itself will properly reflect the state of the repeater. There are several ways to fix this, but I'm just going to cover one method because I'd like to keep things simple. So, open up the toggles menu button set, and under the Broadcasting Toggle button, add a Do Mapped Key action. Point it at the custom repeater toggle you created in the Always On Key Map. Then enable the Only Do If option, set it to This Key Is Pressed, and then assign a key of your choice. So now when I hold down the Shift key prior to clicking the Menu button with my mouse, it will toggle my custom repeater. And if you used mapped key step actions to fix the sync issue, then the buttons will also maintain their proper state. So that's all there is to setting up selective broadcasting. Again, my name is Mirai. Thank you for watching. And for any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Iceboxer forum or the live chat.